Have you ever felt rejected? It's painful to be rejected, especially by your spouse. You know, shockingly, the divorce rate in Iran is very high. In major cities, I was reading, over 75% of marriages end up in divorce. Here's the story of Mona, rejected by her husband, but not by the Lord. She says, I was once teacher and reciter of Quran. I used to do all religious ceremonies, but I was suffering from fear and low self-esteem. I got married when I was 25 years old. My husband was a womanizer to the point that one night I saw her with a lady in our house. Eventually, after five years of marriage, he met another woman and divorced me. My heart was deeply broken. I suffered from feeling of rejection and loneliness. One day, I was in one of my friends' house and their TV was on your channel. And I heard about God being a father and his love towards us. I heard that despite how much we did wrong, the Lord has forgiven us and has come after us to earth. At that moment, suddenly I cr started crying and I asked Jesus Christ to help my wounded heart. And then I prayed the salvation prayer with you on television. Afterwards, I felt no worry nor fear, but instead I had a strange peace. I was smiling and having a joyful heart. The first thing I did was that I called my ex-husband and I told him, I forgive you with all my heart and I don't have any grudge against you. Then I blessed him with my prayer. What a testimony, what a transformation. Today, I know my mission is to build relationship with divorced women and talk to them about Christ's love for them, called for ministry. I boldly proclaim that in our relation with God, there is no room for any fear, anxiety, feeling of rejection, and loneliness. Today, I am a reciter and proclaimer of the Word of God, the Holy Bible. And with love, I declare the gospel fearlessly. Transformation. This is a story of transformation. The power of the gospel transforming lives, forgiveness, healing the brokenhearted, and a divorced woman becoming a minister to other divorced women. This is the fruit of our labor. God is doing it. God is doing it through you and me. Through us together, we are helping people's lives to be transformed. When you support our ministry, this is what happens. May I ask you to prayerfully consider joining us in transforming the Middle East through Iran for the gospel. There are many monas. Once they get saved, they become ministers of the gospel. Praise the Lord.